Hello everyone and welcome to another video in this channel. Today's video is really, really, really special because I'm super happy to announce that I'm going to be participating in PaisoCon. At the time of you watching this, PaisoCon is already on and um, I contacted them earlier this year. They were asking for like novel like stuff that we could share with the community and uh, I told them that it would be a cool idea to just do a little bit of uh, uh, 3D stuff, right? So I'm going to be like what's the word, presenting a panel on how to create miniatures for 3D gaming, like this lurk that we created a couple of uh, weeks ago in the live stream. I think this is on the live stream, by the way, if you guys want to catch it. But here's the deal. We're going to be streaming these classes for free. I'm structuring this as actual classes, like the classes that I normally teach at universities or the classes that we normally teach online with the courses. I'm going to be streaming them. There's going to be two sessions. The first one is today, Saturday at 9 p.m. Mexico time, and it's going to go all the way to 1 a.m. So it should be early Sunday for most of you if you're on the other side of the world. But we're also going to have another one on Sunday. It's going to be Sunday, 10 a.m. Mexico time to 2 p.m. Mexico time. And we're going to have that one available as well for everyone to see we're going to be streaming this so i'm going to be paying attention of course to the students that attend the class on the on the piso servers but if uh, we see that things are getting a little bit slow or there's time for answers i'm actually going to be checking the chat as well here full streams four hours guys it's like two mega streams and then we're going to come back on monday with more streams we're going to continue with the mermaid which we uh unfortunately couldn't continue during this week but we're going to finish it before may is over so yeah that's a lot of stuff going on also as you can see right here we got a sale going on so if you want to attend the class and if you like the things that you're seeing we're going to be doing that as well. Now, uh, this is the little Slurk that I um, that I finished sculpting a couple of months ago. This is Lurk is I thought it was gonna it, it was a, a fun uh, little creature because it's one of the first creatures that you encounter in the Abomination Balls uh, Adventure Path. So it's very iconic, I think. Like most of the people that played that module, and there's a lot of people playing it right now, uh, will face this Lurk at one point or another. So I'm gonna show you here real quick how you can use Marmoset Toolback to create a really really fast render. Okay, we're gonna be doing this render real really quick. So the first thing we can do or uh, we should do here is change the material of the slurk and the way we're going to do this is by adding a new material assigning it to the slurk and we're going to go for this sort of like clay render so i'm going to go for this sort of like dark brown color i'm going to increase the roughness a little bit because i definitely want to have a little bit more of a, of a wet surface but not super super wet something like this this is the decimated version by the way as you can see it has uh, almost a million triangles so it's a bit heavy uh, but for 3d printing this is perfectly fine and then what we can do is we can actually change something really, really cool. We can change the type of um, of uh, material here from, where is it, T -t -t transmission. We're going to change this to surface scattering. And so surface scattering, as you can see, is going to give us a sort of like jello, semi-transparent look to the whole thing. I'm going to bring the scatter depth a little bit lower so that it's not as intense as you can see right there. And this sort of like pink color, I think it's perfectly fine. Now, the way I like to light my things here inside of Marmoset, uh, which, by the way, we have a Marmoset course if you want to check this out. This code right here, I, I know I mentioned that every single course is, is, on, um, is on discount right now, but this code right here is going to give you a 90% discount or the highest that's available for your region for all of the courses that you see right here. So all of the courses on Udemy are going to be having this only for the next five days. You know the drill. We're going to have only this for the final days here of May. So I'm going to add a new light right here, and I'm going to increase the brightness a little bit to make this our key light. As you can see, this is already making the whole thing thing look a little bit more uh more specific well, i want to say specific like more it's getting more protagonism to the whole piece look at how nice that looks i'm gonna go to my skylight here and i'm gonna bring the brightness a little bit down so that my main light is the one that's actually doing most of the work now one thing that i definitely like to do is here on the diameter of the shapes i like to change the size of the light so that the shadows you can take a look at the shadows right now they're very harsh very cg so we're gonna increase the diameter a little bit and it's gonna make the light a little bit softer and it's gonna make it look way 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 more natural then we're going to go to this side right here and we're going to add another light and this light right here i'm going to increase the brightness a little bit i'm going to change the color to something a little bit more like a blue color there we go so it's a little bit lighter let's increase the brightness a little bit more and this is going to work as our rim light we can also increase the diameter here so that the soft uh, the shadows are a little bit softer especially on the on the pores and there we go uh, one more thing, I think I kind of want to add an extra light right here. So I'm going to go to around this area and just add an extra light there to, to really punch the shadows a little bit more. Otherwise, uh, the, the darkness on those areas might be a little bit too much. I'm going to grab this character right here. And if we go to scene, we can add a couple of objects. First of all, I'm going to add a shadow catcher. Shadow catcher is a really good thing because it gives us this sort of like transparent background. It fades very nicely into the into the background. And uh, eventually on the render, we're not going to be seeing this overlay right here. We can actually turn this overlay off by going into view. 
And then here, show guides. We're going to remove the guides. And as you can see, now we don't have any guides. But the problem is when we remove the guides, we also remove the... Um, the lights and everything so we are not going to be able to select them. so control u is the shortcut for that and we're going to keep this right here one thing that i love about substance is the fact substance and marvel said is the fact that we can add a turntable very very easily again just go scene add object and we're going to add this turntable and as you can see since i had the little frog selected automatically it's being added to the turntable and if i hit play i can see the little turntable animation going on look at that so we're going to be working on a very similar model like this guy uh it's going to be well, i don't want to spoil it so so if you want to if you want to check out make sure to select the little like bell icon so you get notification for tomorrow's stream but we're going to have um a very cool like a very known character of the company and then on sunday we're still defining what we're going to be doing on sunday but it's going to be a fun it's going to be beginner friendly so if you've never sculpted before if you've never done any 3d before i'm going to make sure that you can at least get something that looks nice for your first sculpt okay we are going to be using a little bit of blender if, uh, if we need some 3d stuff and we're going to be using zbrush so you can download a trial version as well if you want to try it out and um so yeah that's pretty much it the last thing i can do here is i can just just use ray tracing right now and when we stop this it's going to go into ray tracing mode and as you can see it's going to give us an even better result with the surf surface scattering and everything if we want to export this, we can export this to get a, an even better result. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it, my friends. This is um, this is it, and uh, I hope to see you in the live stream. We're going to be having a lot of fun. We're going to be, again, live streaming here on YouTube. I believe you can still join the Discord channel for the PaisoCon. So if you look for the PaisoCon, you might be able to join and drop into our uh, classroom uh, tomorrow on the, or today during the live stream. Or But yeah, if not, don't worry. I'll got you covered. We're going to be streaming it here in YouTube as well. So that's it, my friends. Thank you very much. Remember, we got a 90% discount going on for all of our other courses, more advanced stuff. If you want to know about Maya, Seabrush, Marvelous Designer, Houdini. A lot of people have been asking about Houdini. It's all in here. All May 2 is the code that you can redeem in Udemy. And that's it. I'll see you on the live. Bye-bye.